Dudes, welcome. I'm Matt from Total Drummer. We're looking at three, four time signature day. Get the sheet music, link below this video, go grab it and let's crack on. Okay guys, so hopefully you got the sheet music there. So if we're looking just at that first one there, um, we can see at the beginning it says three, four. So what is three, four all about? So this is the time signature. You're most familiar with four, four. I'm mo all of us are, so I'm safe in saying that. So that's a four at the top, four at the bottom. Top number's how many beats are in the bar, so there are four beats in the bar. Bottom number is the note value. Four at the bottom means there are quarter notes. So there are four quarter notes in a bar. So when we come to three, four, it means there are three quarter notes in a bar. That's it. So we're used to four quarter notes in a bar. We've taken one away, we've got three. So in concept, it's mega easy. So instead of going one, two, three, four, we're gonna, we're gonna lock that last one off and we're just gonna go one, two, three. That's it, okay? Where it becomes difficult is, is that you're used to playing in four, four, we all are most commonly, so it's gonna feel odd, it's not gonna feel as natural, you still have to think about it. But three, four is one of the most common time signatures outside of four, four. Now just a really little aside, there's a separate video about this that's gonna explain it properly. So for those of you that, that know this, I'm not gonna go into it now, but four, four and six, eight are mathematically the same. Okay, so if you're sitting there scratching your head going, why, why have them both then? They add up to the same thing. Go and check out the video that explains that and, and you'll understand, okay? But if you think about it, if there are three quarter notes in a bar, a quarter note lasts for one beat, six eight means there are six eighth notes in a bar, and eighth notes half a beat. So if there are six halves, that adds up to the same as three whole beats. All right, enough. You're not here for maths, I know. All right, so let's look at the first one. Mega easy, so we've got quarter note hi-hats. So they're just doing the one, two, three. Now, because it's not kind of even um, like four, four, uh, we, we have to choose where to put, put that snare drum. So in four, four, we're gonna put you know, a, a snare on beats two and four and a bass on one and three. So here we have to decide, and um, in this instance, it's quite common to put it on beat three. So we're gonna do a bass on one, snare on three. That's it, all right? Nice and slow, I'm gonna count this in. Remember, I've got to count in three, because we're in three, four, so I'm not gonna count up to four, I'm gonna count up to three, then we start. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so that's a really, really basic three, four. Just get used to that. You heard it there, I, you know, I chucked a couple of extra hi-hats in, a little bit of a fill, but just get used to that. That's gonna serve you for nine out of 10 scenarios where you have to play three, four. It's not very creative, but it will do the job, all right? So let's get used to just that beat first, and then you can move on and take it as far as you wanna go and get creative with it. All right guys, so that's not hard. Three, four, nothing to be scared of, but this is just a very like, just touching the surface, just to give you an idea so you understand the concept of what three, four is. And you can also play a beat, okay, so you can get started with it. So if you wanna know more about three, four, because you know, this is one of the most common time signatures beyond four, four, then get, there's a link in the video description or you can go to the page if you're on the website, go down, and you can see there, you can get a full lesson. So we're gonna break down a whole load of different three, four grooves, different ways you can tackle this time signature. We're gonna look at some different fill examples. And there's also a, a like a back in loops. So you can practice your grooves to it and get kind of creative. If you wanna go a step further with that, you'll also find, link in the description, um, a full play along with full sheet music charted out so you can fully rock out in three, four. Either way, loads to do there, crack on with that get used to three, four, because you are going to need it. All right, see you again. Mm -hmm.